Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to my name is Al Torrance. Uh, welcome to Spare Time RC. Um, if you're new to the channel, I am new to the channel. <laughs> my channel. <laughs> uh, I'm just starting up this channel from uh, YouTube. I'm getting to the hobby of RCs. Um, I want to talk about one thing that I learned or found out through watching other videos and looking at some of the precautionary measures when when charging the lipo batteries. So that's what this uh, video is all about. Different types of lipo safe bags, how to use them uh, and use them correctly. So let's get started. All right, so again, I'm Al Torrance. This is Spare Time RC. I have been in the RC game for about two years now. Prior to that, I used to do little small RCs with my son and my grandson, and used to buy the toy gray hobbies. You didn't have to use but the nickel metal hard drive batteries to charge up. They never had safe batteries before. Now they've gotten advanced with these LiPo batteries that go to anywhere between 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, 9,000 milliamps, uh, 100C discharge and all of that. And people are buying these, we are all buying these Charges that can handle the power to to charge these batteries. So I want to talk about lipo safe batteries um, You probably heard or seen on some of your YouTubes where guys say yeah, this battery this bag lipo safe bag is no good um, Almost brought down my house uh, It was torn it didn't seal correctly. It's not a explosion or fireproof bag um, Just check it out this way if you read the label And again, it is intended to reduce the damage. It didn't say it's going to stop it. It didn't say it's going to prevent it. It says reduce. So after I read all that and I purchased, this is my first purchase here, uh, generic safe lipo batteries from lipo safe. I purchased eight of these. I started charging my batteries using these. Okay. I'd rather have something better than nothing. Because I'm using my basement, I have a concrete floor. I don't have anything within five feet around when I'm charging my batteries. And again, these are designed to reduce the damage, not prevent it. And this is how we charge them. I make sure that the seal is up tight on top. Try to prevent as much of the air coming out as possible or air getting in to, if in case it caught on fire, that it would not create a larger fire. So I tried to seal the top, as you can see there. Try to put much of the spacing out of that as I can. Try to put as much of the canvas up above where it can't breathe in more air to get the fire hotter. And I was like, yeah, that'll do for now. And I got to thinking, hmm, I kind of am in my house. I have seen these batteries bags, these LiPo safe bags totally burned to a crisp. It prevented a lot of the damage, but people will actually, their house was still kind of damaged. Well, like I don't have a garage to use. I don't have a back porch I can use. So how can I make sure that this works for me, All right? Then I started using Coley's. So here, they're not plugged into anything. I'm like, take the LiPo bag Make sure my charger is off completely. I'll get this here pretty soon. Plug it in and I make sure that, okay, I'm gonna use a second bag as a, a second layer of precaution. Again, make sure that both LiPo safe bags are completely sealed. Then I take it to the charger, plug this in in first, plug these in first, black then red, turn on the charger, start charging. I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. I can deal with that. It actually works for me. And I was like, okay, well, if the bag inside burns up, the bag outside will protect it too. So that's what I use. Then I was like, 
I still have too many wires sticking out. I don't have anything that will actually work for this. It does work, but not to my liking. And I purchased this bag here. And as you can tell, this bag here, just like they'll say from ZE Lipo Guard, has a outer pocket or outer door that you can actually seal into. So then, again, using the same setup with a small Lipo bag, safe bag, I feed the wire into this way. Out through the hole, zip it up. One in one way, one in the other. So that way I didn't have the zipper part open up. I would charge two batteries that way, one on this side and one coming out of this side. And that's just me. That's what I do when I charge up a LiPo battery. So if this will help anybody, I would advise you to use two types of bags when charging a LiPo battery. Whether you're outside, whether you're in your house, in a basement, in your garage, uh, please, 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 whatever you do, don't charge this on your dining room table, on your kitchen table. Again, if it does catch on fire, most of the time, kitchen tables are made of glass, wood, ceramic, anything that can burn, it will burn. These things do get hot and they will set everything on fire. So I'm asking everybody, use a lipo bag. Whether you use a, a single lipo bag, whether you use a lipo bag that has a zipper and a pouch on the outside, like this Z bag. Again, the same concept works. Again, I do one side, one side, one cable out one way, one cable out the other way, zip it up, take it to my charger, make sure the seal's as close as it can get, take the charger, plug this in, in, plug the negative and positive in, turn on the charger, and let it charge, all right? Now that I've got this bag that I purchased, again, I have two slots. Again, I will use this bag inside here the same way as I did it in this. Same concept. Small side bag, inside larger bag. Charging cables out of it. Close it as best as you can. Zip it up. Here we go. Plug this in, in negative, then positive, and turn the charger on. All right, everyone. My advice to everybody who's in the RC hobby, whether it be planes, boats, cars, or drones, Use a lipo safe bag. Uh, it, it won't hurt. It should help you a lot more. And again, it's, it's the best way to charge your lipo batteries. Keep you from damaging anything that's important to you. And keep you from burning down what's important to you. All right, so if you like what I'm, my content, you like what I'm doing, uh, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bells, and leave comments down below. Um, again, I'm starting a new YouTube channel. I hope that I'll be posting another video. I'll be trying to post another vi one video a week. Uh, I can't guarantee that right now because, again, I do work 12 hour shifts four days a week, and then I'm on call for the other three days. So that is it, everyone. RC World, RC Family, thank you for having me, and hope to hear from you guys soon. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, subscribe, notification, and share this with your friends and family.